The 17 News at Noon podcast is brought to you by Clinica Sierra Vista. Welcome back to the 17 News at Noon podcast, where we share your news on your schedule. Good day, I'm Elena Ross. The Bakersfield Police Department responding to a viral video showing two of their officers detaining a teenager. Some are claiming online it's a case of police brutality. 17 News has not yet received permission from the video's owner to broadcast the clip, which has garnered hundreds of thousands of views on the popular social media app TikTok. According to the BPD, it all started about 1 a.m. back on October 23rd when officers responded to a report of four suspects breaking into a business on White Lane. When officers arrived, the four suspects allegedly ran off, leading to a foot chase. Two 17-year-old boys were taken into custody after being chased into the Park Villa apartment complex. One of those arrests caught on a neighbor's ring doorbell camera. The BPD says its officers used force during the arrest, including several strikes with a baton. A use of force investigation is underway, but the involved officers remain on full duty. All right, well, given an opportunity to accept responsibility for his horrific crimes in the rape and murder of Patricia Alatori, Armando Cruz chose to remain silent. That's according to court records obtained by 17 News. When a probation officer asked if he admitted culpability for the rape and murder of the 13-year-old, Cruz said, quote, no comment. On November 1st, Cruz sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole after pleading guilty to each of the 11 felonies filed against him. A report filed by probation officials ahead of that sentencing provides new details on Cruz's background. It says he first drank alcohol at age 13 and consumed five or six beers every other day, the report says. And he also began using marijuana at that young age and continued to smoke daily. Cruz allegedly said he had experimented with cocaine at age 21 or 22 and that he was under the influence of alcohol when he killed Alatori. We have a great opportunity for you to get rid of your bulky items in a fast and responsible way this weekend. Bakersfield Recycles Day happening tomorrow from 8 a.m. to noon at the south parking lot of the Mechanics Bank Arena, and it's free. Anyone in Kern County encouraged to drive through and drop off the following recyclable materials, electronic items like old TVs and laptops, large and small household items, passenger vehicle tires, used motor oil filters, used clothing, shoes and linens, surplus construction materials, and paper shredding limit to file size boxes along with batteries and other recyclable materials. And the Kern Oil Festival, a free event for families tomorrow, formerly known as the Kern Energy Festival. It's a day-long celebration of one of Kern County's largest economic engines. Just head out to Stramler Park from 10 to 3 to enjoy food, fun, and education, including STEM activities and some farm and oil equipment on site for the kids to check out. Also happening tomorrow, the League of Dreams hosting their ninth annual Autism on the Run at the Park at Riverwalk. The community event includes an accessible 2K walk along with a 5K walker run. There'll also be a vendor fair with community partners, food and merchandise vendors along with a raffle. You can register in person tomorrow morning beginning at 9 a.m. with the run beginning at 1015. Participants get a t-shirt, medal and a swag bag. Hello, this is Tim Callahan with Clinica Sierra Vista, and we're excited to unveil the Community Health Center of the Future, our comprehensive care center. It's located right across the street from Memorial Hospital. We have every service under one roof, from family medicine, OBGYN care, dental services for adults and children, behavioral health, and much more. So find your way to better care at Clinica Sierra Vista this year at our comprehensive care center. Visit our website, clinicasierravista.org, for the latest on this project. We'll see you soon. Now to a new study showing some worrying trends in underage tobacco use. Data from the 2022 National Youth Tobacco Survey shows about one in six high school students vaped, smoked cigarettes, or used other tobacco products this year. The study concluded vaping is far and away the most popular option for school-age kids, with 14.1% of high schoolers and even 3.3% of middle schoolers using the nicotine delivery devices at least once in the past 30 days. Also, 3.3% 7% or about 1 million middle and high schoolers smoked cigarettes or cigars. In all, nearly 3.1 million underage students are vaping, smoking, or using tobacco products as of the last month. The survey conducted between January 18th and May 31st this year. 
All right, let's turn to some lighter news and looking ahead, KGT once again teaming up with Cap K for a holiday food drive. The folks at Cap K say a large portion of the holiday food items their bank distributes come from donations made during this food drive. That includes, of course, turkey and all the fixings, sweet potatoes, stuffing. Please plan to stop by with your holiday foods and monetary donations next Wednesday, November 16th. We'll be out there all day at Compassion Corner from 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. Join us at the corner of 22 in L Streets. And the 35th annual Holiday Cottage is now open. Hosted by Kern County Human Services, shoppers can choose a foster child's wish from their online list and send it by mail, or you can just give a monetary donation through the Kern Partnership for Children and Families website. The Holiday Cottage has provided thousands of gifts through the decades to make sure local children in need see a present under the tree. A local veteran in dire straits this Veterans Day as he's lost everything, including his home, but he hasn't lost hope. Here with another installment in his ongoing series, Where We Live, is 17's Robert Price. For months now, for years really, Bakersfield has been plagued with fires in vacant homes. One of the latest victims, a double amputee veteran who now has no place to go. Johnny O'Neill had enough problems already. I had been there about, what, five or six years or more? A double amputee because of diabetes, the retired oil field worker and three-year U.S. Army veteran was hospitalized with COVID-19 in late September for five days. Thieves took the opportunity to burglarize his 1,000-square-foot house on Virginia Avenue multiple times, stealing his handicap-accessible truck, a camper, a car trailer, his TV, and all his appliances. Then things got bad. While he was in a local convalescent hospital still recovering from COVID, someone burned down his house, a modest place uninsured that had been in the family for 100 years. They burned my house down and, 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 and set my truck on fire. I don't know who did it. His daughter was stunned. I don't know if it's salvageable or not. Grandma raised chickens and hogs. She grew up playing in the yard. It's a lot of memories over here. It's a, it is a legacy in our family. Janetta O'Neill's great-grandmother was the home's first owner. She passed it down to Janetta's grandmother, the current owner, who's 102 years old. Johnny O'Neill has survived the virus and he's ready to go home, but he has no home to go to. Friends of his daughter, who works for a local credit union, have established a GoFundMe account for his financial recovery. They're hoping construction workers, business owners, anyone might be able to donate building materials, labor, anything. In Southeast Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News. Well, as a way to honor our nation's veterans, Six Flags Magic Mountain is offering free admission to all vets for the weekend ahead. The limited time offer will be available today through Sunday. Family members of veterans, active duty or retired military personnel can also receive up to four discounted park tickets for 20 bucks. The offer will also include free parking and food discounts with your military ID. And several restaurants around town offering free meals for veterans today. From California Pizza Kitchen to BJ's Restaurant, Cracker Barrel and more. Get the list on our website, kget.com. The 17 News at Noon podcast is a production of KGET and Nexstar Media Group. For more on all of the headlines in today's show, head to kget.com.